Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for joining me today and for always coming back to this channel. Thank you for your prayers for me, your love, your support, and words of encouragement. I appreciate every one of you. God bless you. If you are joining us for the first time, what a perfect day to be here. You're welcome. Welcome to our beautiful community. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's jump right into today's word. I saw a vision of someone trapped in a dark room, surrounded by walls that seemed to close in with each passing moment. This person was frantically searching for an exit, but every door they tried to open was locked. The air in the room was thick with a sense of suffocation, and the weight of the darkness in the room was almost overwhelming. As I came out of this vision, the Holy Spirit laid it on my heart to pray for those whose mental health is under severe attack. Those whose minds are bombarded with thoughts of despair, hopelessness, and fear. Those who feel overwhelmed by anxiety and depression, who struggle to find peace in their daily lives. Mental health challenges can feel like an invisible weight, pressing down on every aspect of one's existence. It can cause a person to withdraw from loved ones, isolate themselves, and lose interest in activities they once enjoyed. The battle within the mind can also be relentless with intrusive thoughts and emotions that seem impossible to control. But you see that struggle you've been having with mental health, where your mind feels like a battleground, where you face constant mental assault and affliction with the tormenting thoughts, the sleepless night, the feelings of hopelessness that weigh you down, constant worry that keeps you on edge, persistent sadness that drains your energy. Some of you may even be having or experiencing racing heart that you can't seem to control, and fatigue that makes even the simplest task seem overwhelming. Some of you may be experiencing social withdrawal, unstable emotion, impulsive behaviors, intense episode of anger, depression, anxiety, including the symptoms I didn't mention. They all end today. They are being lifted off you today by the power that is in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, It shall come to pass in that day that his body will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. Today is that day. <laughs> Today is the day that they all end. As I pray, please connect with faith, either for yourself or for your loved ones. I believe that as many of you who listen to this and agree with these prayers, things will shift in your favor. Many of you will be set loose and free from the chains that bind you. Today, the Lord is releasing a wave of clarity and supernatural peace into your minds. Chains of confusion and torment are being broken right now, and you are stepping into a season of sound mind an unshakable peace. The Holy Spirit is illuminating every dark corner of your mind. He's driving out every spirit of anxiety and depression. You will begin to experience a transformation in your mental state, unlike anything you've ever known. The Lord is covering you with a mantle of joy and serenity that will shield you from future attacks. In the name of Jesus, this is not just a temporary relief, but a permanent shift in your mental health. You are being made whole and free in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the lives of everyone listening right now. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy that continually pour out upon us. Thank you, Lord, for the victory that we have in Christ Jesus. Thank you for the power and authority you have given us over every work of the enemy. We praise you, Lord, for your faithfulness. 
in the name of Jesus, for your unfailing love and for the peace that surpasses all understanding. We give you all the glory and praise. Father, I lift up every person listening right now who is struggling with their mental health. Lord, you see their pain. You see their fears and their battles. You know the nights they have spent crying out for relief and the days they have trudged through, barely holding on. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare an end to their suffering in Jesus' name. I declare an end to their suffering in the name of Jesus. I declare that your peace, which passes all understanding, guides their hearts and mind. I speak life into their minds right now. I declare that every lie of the enemy is exposed and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said in your word that you have not given us a spirit of fear but of power, of love, and a sound mind. I claim this promise over every person under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that they will walk in power. They will walk in your love and they will walk in a sound mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of depression, every spirit of anxiety and confusion. I cast them out in the name of Jesus. They have no place place in the minds of your children. I release the spirit of joy, the spirit of peace and clarity. I declare that every stronghold is coming down right now. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God is being brought into captivity in the name of Jesus. Their minds are renewed and restored. They are set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray for a fresh anointing over the their minds. Father, pour out your oil of gladness. Let us seep through every crack and crevice. Let it bring healing and wholeness. Let them experience your presence like never before. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your light flood their minds. Let it drive out every shadow of doubt and fear. I command every spirit of fear to be broken off them now. In the name of Jesus, fear, you have no place in the lives of this one. God has not given them the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. In the name of Jesus, I release the boldness of the Holy Spirit over you right now. Begin to walk in courage and strength. Every paralyzing fear is broken off you now in the name of Jesus. I declare that every spirit of heaviness is lifting off you right now. I release a fresh oil, fresh anointing of joy over you. It is breaking through the clouds of despair and bringing light and hope into your life. You will no longer be weighed down by sorrow and sadness. The garment of praise is replacing the spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus you are rising up, oh God, in joy and victory. I come against every spirit of hopelessness and despair. I command you to be broken off now in the name of Jesus. I speak healing to every wounds of the mind and heart. Every trauma, every heart, every scar is healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command every spirit of trauma to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. The healing balm of Jesus is soothing every pain is bringing restoration to your soul right now you are being made whole in the name of jesus i declare that your mind is renewed by the word of god every thought that does not align with God's truth is taken captive and made obedient to Christ. I decree and declare that your mind is transformed. You are set free from every lie of the enemy. You will think thoughts that are true, that are noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. Your mind is filled with the light of God's truth. I speak life and vitality into your mind. I declare that you have the mind of Christ and your are controlled by the Spirit of God. Every evil power controlling your mind gives way right now. For you are the temple of God. I declare that your mind is a fortress of God's truth. Every attack of the enemy is repelled in the name of Jesus. I declare that every generational cause of mental illness is broken off you in the name of Jesus. You are a new creation in Christ. The old has passed the way and the new has come. You are free 
free right now from every cause and you're walking in the blessings of God. I speak to every spirit of addiction and compulsion. I command you to be broken in the name of Jesus. You have no power here. I release the freedom of the Holy Spirit upon you. You are no longer bound by any addiction. You're walking in the freedom and liberty of Christ. In the name of Jesus, the chains that are falling off you right now and you are stepping into a season of victory in the name of Jesus. I release the fire of God over you. It is burning away every impurity, every lie of the enemy and every chain. You are being purified. You are being refined by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. You are coming forth as pure gold shining with the glory of God. You are walking in the power an authority of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I ask right now that you send your angels to minister to this one, so God. Let them feel the comfort of your presence. Let them know that they are not alone. You are with them, guiding them and holding them close. I declare that every spirit of loneliness and isolation is broken off them right now. In the name of Jesus, they will no longer feel alone. They will feel your loving presence surrounding them every day, Lord. I thank you for the strength you are giving this ones. They are rising up with new strength, with new hope and new determination. In the name of Jesus, they are overcoming every obstacle and defeating every enemy. They are overcoming every obstacles and defeating every enemy of their soul. They are walking in victory and freedom. I declare right now that there are no, there are no more victims. They are more than conquerors through Christ. Christ who loves them. They are victorious in every area of their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for a hedge of protection around their minds. Let your angels encamp around them. Let your angels guide their heart and mind. Let your peace which surpasses all understanding guide their heart and mind in Christ Jesus. They will no longer be tormented by the enemies in the name of Jesus, but they will walk in your perfect peace, O oh God. Lord, I thank you for the work you are doing in their lives right now. I thank you for the transformation that is taking place. I thank you for the healing, for the restoration, for the deliverance and the renewal that you are working on right now in our minds, in our lives, in our spirit, in our souls. You are a faithful God and we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise for answered prayers for we know you have heard us and you have answered us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We we'll receive your word. We we'll receive the blessings, O God, the breakthroughs, O God, from your throne this day. We we'll receive freedom and we declare that we are we are made whole. We are set free. We are delivered in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.